Okay, here's today's brisket. So I'm going to cut a piece of this. Probably uh, I'll use about half of this and put that in the smoker. And then the other half uh, I'll freeze. Because this chunk is just a little bit too big for, uh, you know, two people. So now uh, I'm going to use the highs seasoning salt. Clubhouse Tex-Mex, which is great if you can find this. And then just some garlic uh, powder from uh, Costco. There's no salt in that one. Okay, I just finished putting the uh, seasonings on. So I did it, you know, rather lightly. Nothing too heavy. And just roughly kind of, you know, pushed it in. Okay, we have just a little bit over half of uh, some wood pellets here. These are hickory pellets. And we're going to do our preheat. Looks like uh, we need a cleaning. This is the first uh, use of the, you know, of, of the summer. So uh, it'll be good for today, but I'll clean it next time. And we'll, like I said, we'll start our preheat here for the 40 minutes. Okay, our preheat is now done. As you can see, we have some smoke coming out of the uh, vent. So now we'll go ahead and put the uh, brisket in. We're getting quite a bit of smoke, so that's just right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, brisket in the smoker right now. Okay, now I'm going to set this for 5 hours at 220. Okay, this is after 4 hours. And as you can see, I still have a ton of smoke coming out of here. Okay, I have the brisket inside the house and I'm just taking a temperature and we have 170 Fahrenheit. So next it'll go into the crock pot for about two and a half to three hours and it'll hit a temperature around 220. It'll finish tenderizing and a lot of the fat will render out and go into the crock pot which I'll keep you know draining out with a turkey baster just so it's not swimming in uh, fat and water. Now this is the time when I first put it in the crock pot where I'll start to, uh, you know, baste it with my favorite barbecue sauce. So there's none on there yet. But I'll just lightly baste that and then watch it every uh, hour and start draining the grease out. Okay, so I ended up finishing it at about 200, so now I'm going to slice it up. Perfect. 